Made it to Vietnam. I'm only here for about five days before meeting up with Owen in Japan, so I'm gonna try to make the most of it. Here in Hanoi, Vietnam, staying in the old quarter, uh, kind of a touristy area. My hotel's right with all the brothels and nightclubs, but thankfully lots of really good restaurants here too. Anyone who knows me knows I'm uh, absolutely addicted to Vietnamese food, but I've never actually been to Vietnam. So you know the first thing I'm gonna do is spend an entire day just trying out all the best foods in Hanoi. So this place I'm really stoked for, uh, Pho Ten. One of the ladies from uh, Petite Saigon in Vancouver, my favorite pho restaurant, recommended this place, so it's gotta be good. I've really only ever had a bowl of pho in Canada. Apparently, most of the bowls you find in Vancouver are the southern style, so what I'm gonna be eating is gonna be slightly different as we're in the north here in Hanoi. First bowl of pho in Vietnam, and it uh, looks amazing. I don't know what that is, but I'm adding it. Oh my god, that's what dreams are made of. I've probably had well over a thousand bowls of pho in my life. It's probably my favorite food, I tell everyone that. And uh, this year is my very first bowl from the source, Vietnam. I feel like a nice light broth. That's what this is. Incredible meat, incredible portion size. The broth is nice and light. Not to mention it's uh, 65,000 dong, which translates roughly to, I don't know, four bucks Canadian. It's incredible. Pho 10, my first pho in Vietnam, I'm giving it a 10. Homemade Timbits here in Vietnam. Just when you're missing Canada, someone comes along with uh, homemade Timbits. Mmm, so good. This, uh, this coffee place on the corner that was super busy, so uh, I'm gonna go check it out. Yeah, the people working at this cafe thought I was this famous YouTuber. <laughs> Eggs coffee. It costs as much as my bowl of pho, and I think it's made with eggs. That's thick. That's a sludge. I don't know about that for morning coffee, but uh, it's tasty. It's pretty good. It comes in a bowl of water. Okay, you know what? It's just like a one inch thick layer of. Uh, thick egg foam on top. Underneath is your black coffee, probably espresso or something. So I just broke through and uh, now it's getting pretty good. Before it was, I was just sipping away at the top layer there. I don't know what this stuff is, but I had to try it. Comes wrapped in this uh, beautiful little banana leaf. Mm. Oh, it's warm and sweet. I think it's like a dessert. I definitely thought it'd be like a salad or something. But it's really dry, but uh, absolutely delicious. 
The only thing I regret is not having a copy with it. it kind of feels like maybe like getting a scone or something without a drink, but uh, it's pretty good. Definitely not a bad spot to just sit and uh, hang out, drink a coffee, eat some street food. Just love it. Just noon, I've already had three meals, getting pretty full, but gonna go get some bun cha from uh, a place that my friend who's from here said is the best bun cha in the city. So I've actually never even had bun cha before, I know it's pretty popular. There's quite a few places in Vancouver that do it, just never tried it, so it's gonna be a first for me on many levels. Yeah, bun cha was absolutely incredible. Uh, I don't know why I've never tried it before, but I'm actually really glad that my first time trying it was in Hanoi. Definitely gonna be eating it again before I leave. Heading to an area called West Lake. Apparently it's really nice to walk around and just hang out at. A bit of a contrast to the extremely busy, crazy hustle and bustle of uh, Old Quarter. Yeah, it's currently 1pm here and I've had like three full meals already. Uh, I could live here, I could do this all day. It's actually the best. This city is so vibrant and it just turns into a whole different beast at night, especially in this area where it's kind of touristy with lots of nightclubs and shit like that. But during the day, it's, it's all just food, food driven. It's incredible. West Lake. I don't know, it looks more like an ocean to me. It's pretty big. <laughs> Saw a couple of guys sitting by the lake here drinking a coconut with a little table and a little chair. I thought, uh, what better way to end the day? here in Hanoi and uh, daddy's craving his bowl of pho. Next up we're hitting Pho Thin Bo Ho. This place is thin, very small place. Thank you. 
bien calvo. Literally nothing better than uh, meeting a bowl of fuck right on the street at 10 a.m. And even if you remove yourself from the atmosphere and how cool it is, it's just an incredible bowl of food. Stand alone. Nice light broth, fresh meat. The guy's cutting it right behind me here. How can you not get romantic about a bowl of fuck? <laughs> Next up, I'm gonna grab some banh mi from this cool little place I saw just chilling on the side of the street. Mm. I'll tell you what, for one dollar Canadian, this banh mi is so good that it just ruined banh mi for me for the rest of my life in Canada. I won't be able to go back to my favorite places. Incredibly fresh, soft bread. Can't find that in Canada for some reason. It's always kind of crusty and stale. And then we just got like some salad, pork, and uh, a fried egg for one dollar Canadian. It's ridiculous. So damn good. get out of the city for a bit, so I made my way over to Haiphong. It's about a two hour drive from Hanoi and uh, feels a lot more relaxed and laid back than where I've been staying for the last couple nights. So I'm just gonna walk around the markets and see if I can find somewhere to eat some lunch. Walking around the uh, markets in Haiphong here, stumbled upon some incredible smelling food. Stumbled upon some beautiful street food. Boon Tom. Really good. Spicy. So lucky, so lucky to be here, eating this incredible food. This is probably the best food I've had here so far. If you're in Vietnam, escape Hanoi for a little bit, come to uh, the smaller places like Hai Phong, you're gonna find incredible food. That's why I came here, this is why I came here. <laughs> Each meal I have in this country is better than the last. Thank you.
thought I'd change it up from staying in the hostels, so I booked a room in this homestay in Hanoi. One of the girls who actually owns a tea shop downstairs invited me to come hang out and try a bunch of different teas from the area. I'm here with my friends. I met them at this amazing homestay I met. After a beautiful tea presentation that we had earlier, we decided um, we're gonna go get some snails. I haven't had dinner yet, that's gonna be my dinner. It's gonna be a little bit adventurous, but I'm sure it's gonna be delicious. If they say it's good, yeah. it's gotta be good, right? No, I'm not. <laughs> you okay? The big snail. <laughs> I like the small ones more. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, and Good. Okay, yeah. you don't want to eat that part? Yeah. That's the babies? Yeah. You don't want to eat the babies? No. <laughs> Any babies there? Yeah. <laughs> really good. Thanks. That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. Me first? Yeah. Okay. Are you okay? Yep. <laughs> mm. Thank you. Just tried some chicken fetus, fertilized egg. It's actually good. It's actually good. If I didn't know that that's what it was, I would have probably eaten the whole bowl. But it's still, a, you know, I'm going to have one more. I'm going to have one more. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bottoms up. Wow. That one was a bit crunchy. Dude. Congratulations. It tastes really good though. The only weird part about it is the crunchiness of knowing that you're eating a little tiny chicken. <laughs> Once you get over the texture, it's just... Oh, you know, it's never, never become a chicken. No? So what is it? Because it is about eggs, not chicken. <laughs> oh, birds. Yes. It was still filming. Everything I said about <laughs> chicken, it, it's actually not chicken. It's about what kind of bird? Yes. Quail? It's a small bird. Small bird? Yeah. Okay, so they're not chicken fetuses, they're small bird yeah. fetuses. Yeah. Probably quail or something, right? Yeah. I don't know. But uh, it's good. They're yeah. really good. I like yeah. them. I like them. Yeah. yeah. Cheers. 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 
miss uh, Vietnam when yeah. you come from Canada. And, uh, I, I think I will too. Yeah. <laughs> in like five hours from now. I was just gonna walk around and chill. Packed up the camera, put everything away. I wasn't gonna film anymore. Not even that hungry, but had to sit down, crack a beer, get some boon cha, and just uh, take in what little time I have left in this beautiful city. Vietnam, gotta come to Hanoi, baby. Ain't nothing better. Oh, man, bye-bye.